Good afternoon, folks. First, I want to start off by saying R.I.P. to Andrew Martin, aka the Tess. You are, you forever our nigga, Tess. And then I heard someone else that um, uh, well, she wasn't close to me. A person I went to church to was in the car wreck. Her and her three friends. A boyfriend and other two friends, they end up dying. So today's been kind of a little bit rough for me, but it ain't keep me down. Now, what I'm trying now, what I'm here to talk to y'all about today is, as far as me making songs on here, I'm taking a little hiatus off. Like a two month height, I'll be back with some songs in May. I'm planning on writing them. Now, I want to talk about more about Rihanna and this Chris Brown thing that's still going. Now, I'm here. Now, I'm hearing the day that Rihanna took him back, but it was so quick. They, I think they need more time away from each other. I heard that they used to being abused because their parents used to fight a lot. But they need to be in careful in front of their kids and their children with that shit. <sighs> but some people think it's a mistake that Rihanna's taking back for Chris Brown. Yep, yeah, but true that, he will hit you again. Some niggas are nice, but some niggas ain't. They will hit you again. That or even worse, friend spirit definitely end up happening. But um, what else I was thinking? Oh no, but well, Chris Brown, I don't know him like that. That mean and vicious guy that he was when he was beating the hell out of Rihanna, but. Most people say he was a nice little good guy. Shoot, I don't know. I don't know too much about him. I never even met the man before, but let's pray for the best and hope for the best that um, none of this bizarre shit don't happen again. Now, what I want to get into is Hip hop rivalries. Now the talk of this beat between 50 Cent and Rick Ross, they kicked off prior to last month. <laughs> now I want y'all. Now y'all decide on who wins. And tell me who you think is best and who you feel is better. Now I'm gonna talk about this. Now 50 Cent, as usual. He plans on putting Rick Ross to bed like he did to Ja, Fed Joe, and Cameron. Well, he actually didn't put Fed Joe to bed. He just quit talking to him. Unless he sell a million records. That's what he said last, last year in April. But, I know 50 Cent is attacking Rick Ross in this. And it's past about him being a correctional officer. But I understand you got to do something before you get, come to the entertainment business, no matter what it is. I respect that, but Rick Ross didn't have to lie about it, saying, Those are not me. People play on the internet and darken up those pictures. Yeah, it looks like you. But then he finally admitted it. And next month, in um, May, issue of Double XL Magazine, he comes clean once again. But what else I was thinking? And this side's being taken. Well, somehow I ain't even shocked that game took 50 Cent's side. I don't know why I ain't shocked that 50 Cent. I heard he was trying to recruit some people to fight Rick, to go, come, go after Rick Ross. Like I heard Trick Daddy and someone else, but I forgot who it was. I think it was Trina. But anyway, when Rick Rose first came to this rap thing, to the rap scene, talking about he was pushing weight and all that. 
saying this and saying it. I think he was trying too hard. Because in, uh... Yeah, it was the November issue of Double XL Magazine back in 2006 when he said, when he kept telling on himself, saying that he did this and then it did that. Like, sound like he's trying to get indicted on purpose. I think you trying too hard. You should have slowed down there. I should have noticed something there. And I was like, why the fuck would you be broadcasting in a national publication? It's talking about how you living and shit. Damn. Now, 50 Cent's talking to um, his two baby mamas. They're talking about directing one of them in a porno. And next, he's talking to the guys who had Rick Ross to sit as their correctional officer. Talk to him and all that. He's got X about him, so that I'm hearing. Uh, this is crazy. But I'm on 50 Cent side. But he's calling them officer this and officer that. Him and his junior buddies. But 50 Cent, I hope. I do I do like 50 Cent? I'm a fan of it, but not no huge fan as I used to be. But I'm a fan of. It. He should keep in mind that he got Supreme put behind bars forever. Yep, everybody knows it. Yeah, he needs to keep that in mind. That he did tell on uh Supreme McGriff, but at least he was being honest about it. I give him credit for that. Unlike Rick Ross who lied about his past. Yup, it's a lot of rappers who do this shit. Talk, go in the booth, and then behind the mic, they say stuff they really ain't live. But then again, you gotta look at it. This is entertainment now. You gun running the shit like that. But I'm on 50 cent side. Now leave comments, please. Please do. Till then. I gotta go right now. I'll be back before y'all know it.